Welcome along guys. Well as promised, I'm on the Ducati V2 for a couple of weeks. I've just picked this up from Ducati, just around the corner. Unfortunately, it's a bit wet and it could be rain. I mean, it's October. What can you do? I've just taken back, or a week or so ago, the V4 S Panigale. This is obviously the V2, the twin, 950cc, 955cc of twin power. This bike is 14,995. So it's a good five grand cheaper than the base V4 version. It looks more or less the same, but what's it like to ride? How does it differ from the V4S? Is this a much better prospect for the UK roads? Let's go find out. This is going to be a first ride video. I'll be following this up with a sort of owner, full ownership experience after I've had this for a couple of weeks. But this is my initial impressions. Let's do it. Oh, it's quite wristy. There's quite a lot of weight on your wrist. Similar sort of position, I would say, than the V4S actually. It feels thinner between your legs. It's definitely thinner between your legs at like the tank. loads of go your feet you're actually it feels quite a uh, quite high up at the rear actually more so than the uh, the v4 it's sort of it, it is pushing down a little bit at the front i think it's quite nosy and the, the rear feels high the pegs feel moderate i'd say not really high but comfortable enough i think with this position it's definitely one of those bikes you want to be keeping above sort of 50 miles an hour Vibrations from the bike. There's a few little vibes through the bars. I mean, this is a you know, 950cc V twin. They do produce a bit of vibration. Probably a little bit more vibes than the uh, the V4S. A little bit, but uh, perfectly fine. Also new for this year, the bike has now got the updated electronics from the V4S, more or less. It's got an IMU now. It's still quick. It's still a quick bike. 155 horses. Oh yeah, brakes in the wet. Hey, <laughs> there's loads there. Loads of braking power, loads of stopping power. Even in these conditions. Loads of drive, loads of mid-range. I had to, I had the throttle wide open then. Yeah, you can't do that on the V4S. As I say, you, you can... Oh, it the wheel comes up there as the power kicks in. I think you can take a few more liberties with this bike. In town, obviously V2s can be a little bit choppy at times. This is second gear, this is sport mode. Fueling is very nice. The throttle control feels like it's instant. And that was one of my criticisms on the V4S, was the throttle didn't feel like it was connected directly to the throttle grip. Because it had this torque limiting system, you got the impression that something was in between you and the throttle bodies. This bike, it feels like you've got a direct connection, which I'm really pleased about. Very precise throttle. It's fast, you know. It is fast. The wheel comes up a little bit as it's, you know, the V4S just, the wheel didn't come up on that bike. The wheel's coming up on this straight away. I can tell you it's, it feels more engaging for it as well. Hey! <laughs> really control cutting then. It's got wheelie control, of course, because it's got the IMU. You've got adjustable levels of wheelie control as well. I might look at <laughs> widening that down a little bit so you can have a bit of wheelie fun. Oh, 
This is a really good bike. It just sounds beautiful. Thanks, buddy. I like this already. In these conditions, I like it. What's it going to be like on a nice summer's dry day? If it's good in a wintry, wet October day. If you open it up at four grandish in a higher gear, it takes a little bit of time for the, the revs to build. You know, it is a slightly smaller engine, this. You can notice that it's, you know, it does, it's not rampant. It doesn't instantly go, but there's plenty there. I think this is 102 Newton meters of torque at 9,000 RPM. I'll pop it on the screen if that's wrong. I'm sure it is. So it's got a lot of torque, over 100 new meters of torque. Ooh, we've got a big puddle. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Oh, look at this flooding. I'm going to have to clean this now. See, this is a real world test, you see. If you want track tests, there's plenty of track tests of this bike out there. You know, everyone has done a track test on this machine. I couldn't find many road tests of this bike. Because, you know, you, you know, track tests are all very well. But, yeah, this could be a potential track bike. But really what you want to know is what it's like on these terrible... British roads. <laughs> How does it work on these potholed monstrosities that we pay a fortune to be maintained on? The answer is because of that soft suspension, I actually think very well. Heat wise, on the V4S, my big criticism was the heat on the engine. So far on this, I'm, I can feel a little bit of heat. I'm in textiles today because of the weather. I can feel a little bit, but it's it's, it's quite welcome today, actually, because it's not overly warm. But I can feel a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be anything like the, the V4. Another thing they've done with this, they've moved the seat back a bit, so you've got a bit more room. If you're a taller rider like me, I'm 6'2". I'm 18 stone, you know, I'm full fatty spec and the seat has been moved back, so you can actually move further back on the bike, a bit more room to move around. So you can go back and I can get right in the tuck on this bike. <laughs> it growls and it snarls. This is a standard pipe on this. It's so snarly, it, it reminds me very much, actually, of how the Super Jig sounds. A similar note, not, not exactly the same, but a similar note. That growl, that angriness, that angry sounds. It feels a bit more raw than the V4S. The V4S definitely felt more polished. This feels a little bit raw, you know, like all the... <laughs> To coin an expression I've heard used before, but the V4S felt like all the corners were filed off it, you know, and it was very refined. I think with the V twin motor in here, it does feel more raw, you know, it's a bit more vibey. It feels a little bit more back to basics to a degree, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it's, it's, it is a little less refined than the V4S. I mean, you, you can't have everything, I guess. You know, this is a cheaper bike, this is a more basic engine. And, it's, and some would say, and I think including me, I think it's all the better for it, really. Yeah, first impressions is I, I really like it. <laughs> I really like it. It's, it's lived up to everything I thought it would do. It, it, it's meeting my expectations. Like I say, the only slight downside is a little bit weight on your wrist, but uh, I'll try not to go on about that too much. But that's why it's so nice to ride. That's, that's why it feels so beautifully handling bike, because it is a bit nosy, I think. I mean, this has got, I think, weight bias. It's 
of the weight is on the front, 48% over the rear. So the front is nose heavy. And uh, that's why you get, I think, that beautiful steering response. Oh, I so want to lay it down, but I can't because it's wet. Yeah, you've got a little bit of room to sit back on the seat. Even some of them my size, but when you sit back, that does put more weight on your wrists, is the downside. The seat is actually very comfortable. I think it's more comfortable than the B4S, actually. There seems to be a bit more padding in it. There are some comfort seats and some sort of race seats available for this bike. There's quite a few Ducati options for this. Including exhaust and all that. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, we've got a Ford to get through. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. This isn't really Panigale riding weather. You know, this is, as they say, this is really a real world review. Look at this. It feels so planted, even in this wet weather. I mean, I've not had any slips, I've not had any slides. I've not seen the traction control flashing. Have they managed to pull off again that incredible mechanical grip that the V4 has? Is that still evident in the V2? God, it does pull hard. It's also very nice between your legs to grip. I think with this bike, you know, bikes like the Panigale where you do have quite a lot of weight on your wrists. How many times have I mentioned that now? Fair few. But you need to grip the tank with your legs and it, it's really well sculpted for that. Very nice. So you can delete a lead a bit off your wrist by holding the tank. We all know that's what you should be doing anyway. Honestly, after riding this for half hour or so, I can tell you it is, it has all of the things you'd love about the V4S, but in a more affordable, more practical package. I don't, I don't think I wouldn't rather be on the V4S, I really wouldn't. There's a rev, it starts to rip. <laughs> it really does. The thing with the V4S, it's so fast. You, you only really, it's very rare that you get the option to, to put that throttle grip at 100%. You're always feathering it. With this, you can open it right up. The wheel will dance about. It really punches when the power comes in at eight grand. It's, I'd say it, it's more rewarding, more engaging from a rider perspective. I think it would definitely be my choice out of the two. And the fact that it's £10,000 cheaper than the V4S I was riding the other week, <laughs> it's just another bonus. <laughs> I love that blipper. Got to have him. Woohoo! Hey! <laughs> ah, we got a flood. Oh my goodness. How deep is it? <laughs> Does it come with a boat mode? Oh, I'll get wet feet. I don't want to get wet feet. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is deep. Real world test, as I say. Real world test. Well, I'm not sure what else I can tell you for a first ride video. I hope you enjoyed that. I will be bringing you a follow-up. I've got this bike for 
two weeks, two weeks, and I'll be bringing you a follow-up video after that two-week period. I'm just hoping we get some decent weather, or dry weather at least, so I can give it a throw around. See what the handling's like compared to the V4S. But uh, if you're not already subscribed, press that subscribe button. I've got a lot of good content coming. I've got a lot of bikes coming in October. It's unbelievable. I've got the new Fireblade coming. I've got the RSV4 coming as well. And me and Greg are going to do a comparison review from the RSV4, our winner from last time, compared to the new Blade. I've got the Triumph Tiger Rally Pro coming, the off-road version of the Tiger 900, which I will do a little bit of off-roading on. I only like gravel lane stuff, but I will be doing some. We've also got two V-Stroms coming. We're going to do a bit of a trip, me and Greg, on our adventure bike test win of the V-Strom. So we've got the XT version of the V-Strom coming and the, uh, the base model with luggage, a bit of a trip. We've also got two BMW R1600s coming as well for the similar thing, a long trip on those. We've got the Bagger version and we've got the GT coming. So we're going to take those for a bit of a trip as well. So there's lots coming. Also, I've got Suzuki are dropping me off a GSX-S 1000. I've got that for three weeks. Now I've not ridden the GSX-S 1000 since it came out back in 2015, was it? 2014? I got on that bike very early on and I've not ridden it since. They've made revisions to it. I want to see how that compares to the other nakeds, you know, the Tuono, all the more expensive nakeds. How does the good old GSX-S 1000 stack up against all the latest and greatest super nakeds I've been riding. So I think that will be very interesting. But there we go guys, thanks so much for watching, really appreciated listening to me going on. I'm hoping we're going to get a bit of decent weather to try those bikes out, but if not, that's going to be more wet reviews I'm afraid. I will be riding, the weather won't stop me, this bike will be out in the snow if necessary to bring you that final review, but thanks for watching, really appreciated. I will speak to you next time. Thanks very much. See you later. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to me. Oh, <laughs>